Greetings and welcome to Pinball Help. Mike here. So what I'm doing tonight is I am working on the MPU board that came out of the Gottlieb System ADB game Raven. And um, I've been having some weird issues with it. I got everything working fine, except that every once in a while I would turn it on and the memory would uh, wipe out. And I put, if you watched the previous video, I put a memory cap on the board and everything seems to be working, but I am still having it reset, lose credits. So I'm not sure what the problem is. Did a little bit of research, and one of the common culprits tends to be the 5101 memory chip that's on here. Now Gottlieb did not socket this chip, so I couldn't replace it fairly easily. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to demo. Um, and if you hear music in the background, it's because we're we're over. There's a little thing going on in the background, but. Um, I'm going to demo replacing the 5101 memory with uh, non-volatile RAM, so this will actually make the uh, memory cap obsolete. This is another option you can do. It's a much more invasive procedure. Replacing a battery with a memory cap is quite easy to do, but um, replacing uh, the memory chip requires kind of major surgery on the board. So you'll see what I've done here is I've actually removed the chip. This is the old chip. Take a look at that. So I cut it off, and um, it's not, you know, this is this is a little bit of a kind of a touchy area of work to do. So in this case, what you do when you're doing it is you use a, uh, I'm using a desoldering iron. This is the Hako 808. This is my go-to desoldering gun. You just uh, plug it in, and you, you hold the board up, and there's other, you know, and then you kind of dip, do, hit it and you desolder it, and I use a, a, some very fine nippers to cut the chip off of the board with the nippers. And then um, you have to really just take your time and do this right and get it nice and clean. So let's, uh, let me zoom in and I'll show you my work because um, since I've been doing this series, if you've watched all of the videos, I've really mangled some boards in my learning process. and. Um, I'm definitely getting better at, uh, at doing this. And so you can see there's a nice example of desoldering. And you see all the pads are there. And then I'll take this. This is a, um, this is a fiberglass pen. And I'll, I'll run it across here and make sure and clean it nice. And I also use this tool here that allows me to, um, to get in these holes and, uh, and, and open them up and so that it's, it's a nice, nice, clean um, thing. And you'll see there it's on the other side too. I've, um, so I've managed to get that nice and clean. So I'm going to replace this with a socket. Once the socket is in there, I will, um, I will put the socket in right here. And then I will add this. This is a 5101 non-volatile RAM. It's a surface mount NV RAM that's been put into a package that will fit onto the existing DIP24 socket. So I will put this in here and then add this to that. And then we will get non-volatile RAM. And then I won't probably need the memory cap. So I'm going to do that to test to see if I can solve this weird glitch. I think basically this 5101 RAM was starting to get flaky on me, and that was what was causing problems. So I am doing a little bit of extra diagnosis. So this is another option you can do. If, you're, if you feel comfortable desoldering a chip, you can do that. Put this socket in, and you can replace it with these RAM chips. And I got this from um, nvram.weebly.com. So that's nvram.weebly.com. I think... Uh, They've got some of the best prices. You can find these things all over the place. There, there's several different versions for different kinds of memory chips, and uh, these are the 5101s that are used in um, the Gottlieb System 80s. So stay tuned for more, and I will show you my progress as I continue. Thanks for watching. For more, visit pinballhelp.com. Thanks.